Chicago, ending the Bulls' 18-game win streak. The Lake to Denver Sunday night. They haven't lost to a sub-500 team all year long, so no reason to think they would start now, but it was the Nuggets who came out on fire. Mahmoud Abdul-Raouf, the nice layup, and then Doug Overton to Antonio McDice for the jam, and LaFonso Ellis flies in for the jam, plus the foul. The Nuggets up 25 at the half, but the Bulls regroup Jordan. Soars in for the jam, two of his 39 points, Bulls down by 16. Then Jordan hits the tough fadeaway, 22 of his points coming in the second half. Bulls down seven. Fourth quarter, Steve Carr starts the break. Scotty Pippen finishes it off. Look at that. The Bulls grab the lead, 85-84. Denver up two. Mahmoud Abdul-Raouf hits it. Jordan. And the Bulls had one last chance to get back in the game, but LaFonso Ellis, the huge block. Denver has done it. 105-99, the final. The Nuggets end the Bulls' streak. Jordan says you got to give them credit. You know, we want to play the way we've been playing, where we execute and we control everything down the stretch. And, you know, they controlled everything down the stretch, which is an you know, unusual position for us. And we knew that they was going to make their run, even we was a 20-point uh, up. And we Pistons home to the Chicago Bulls, owners of the league's best record at 45, 43, and 5. Michael Jordan says take that early on. Chicago was in control the whole first half, and then in the second half, Detroit mounts a comeback. Grant Hill to Otis Thorpe. Game, just a one-point game. And then Detroit takes the lead. Grant Hill to the bucket. It's 98-96. The Pistons, two-point lead. Chicago trying to tie it in the final second. Scotty Pippen misses, but there's Dennis Rodman to tie the game up and send it to overtime. And in the OT, Michael Jordan, too much. Jordan with the spin move, backs away. Nothing but net, two of 32. Three bounce, five assists, two blocks, and three steals. That was finally 110-102. In het voordeel van de Yes, Adrian Caldwell. What a great pass. First by Reggie. And then how about the drop off by Mark Jackson? Well, this play by Mr. Edwards has the Sixers feeling mighty blue. Country loses the basketball. Blue at the buzzer. Yeah. Yeah. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful. Something just clicked on a night. Agassi with club sent three starters packing. But the new guys fit in like a glove, and the Heat fired out to a fast start. Newly acquired Tony Smith finishing off the break. Miami up by seven. But the Bulls came back. Scotty Pippen to Michael, and they're within five. But Miami's Rex Chapman caught fire to finish the first half. Hit one three. Broke away, hit the second three. Spotted up and hit the third. Six in the first half. The Heat by 18. Jack Nicholas there. Chapman says, Michael, take that. Second half. Jackman picked up where he left off. Hit his eighth in a row. The Heat by 23. But the Bulls clawed back. Jordan, two of his 31, lead down to seven. However, Chapman to the rescue again. Hit his ninth three. Tied a career high with 39 points. Miami pulls off the stunning upset, 113-104. They were leaving me open. I was, uh, was fortunate to be making some shots. Tony made some great penetration plays and kick out. Everybody was finding the open, man. We played a really unselfish game. With the way we played, it's very evident that we didn't come out prepared to play the game. But I think, uh, you know, they came out. Roll nine. The Bulls have reached the 50 win mark faster than any team in league history. Tuesday night, the Bulls ripped the Minnesota Timberwolves 120 to 99. Michael Jordan scoring 35. Bulls reached the 50 win plateau. Smashing in the Minnesota early lead. Bulls win because of solid D. Steve Kerr, the strip, Rod Harper to Jordan. Back to Rodman for the jam. It was a relatively quiet game for Michael Jordan, but he did post up the diminutive David Wesley, two of 21 points for Michael. And then the icing on the... The Bulls' Dennis Rodman against the Milwaukee Bucks. They're tangling with Sherman Douglas. Here in the first quarter, Bulls on the attack. Tony Kukoc with a perfect alley-oop pass to Scotty Pippen. Chicago led by 14. In the second, Luke Longley, the big Aussie, cut through the lane and passed to Kukoc for the jam. Balls by 20. Into the second now. Ron Harper steal. Michael Jordan's right there with him for the slam. 33 points for Jordan on the night. 
Rodman then goes a blowout of the Detroit Pistons. Against the Pistons, Jordan unleashed 53 points, scoring from everywhere.